What's up, YouTubers? It's your girl Shannon from Evie and Chill, and it has been a hot minute since our last video. Not on purpose, we didn't mean to take a hiatus for that long. Uh, just a lot of things have been happening in our family, and that's what this video is about. We just wanna take a minute, check in, let you know where we've been, uh, and kind of what's been going on in our life. J3. <laughs> we are on our way. We are getting ready to go to the library. Uh, which is a very underutilized public resource. So check out your public library, people. Uh, so we're gonna get him, that's right, say hi, people. Hi, people. We're gonna get him buckled up and we're gonna talk about where we've been over the past few months. So again, like our hiatus, we didn't really plan for like December, I think what, December 13th to be like our last video. We had no idea we were gonna be taking a break at that point. Honestly, we had a lot of cool videos lined up for the rest of December and January and February, um, but we just did not make them. I'll tell you why. And a lot of you guys, you guys have been sending like DMs and tweets and commenting, asking if we're okay. We really appreciate that. We sincerely thank you for your concern. I mean, people, even China sent out a balloon looking for me. Okay, I think that might have been a little bit much, China. You can stop sending those balloons. Uh, I am here, I am okay. We've just had a lot going on. So let's talk about that right now. And we also have a little surprise for you at the end. Uh, J3 is gonna let you know what's up. Uh, but here's the deal, people. I know a lot of you guys were speculating maybe we sold the Rivian and we sold the Tesla. We basically just sold out on EVs and we went back to ICE vehicles. I'm here to tell you that is obviously not the case. We are still loving our EVs. I mean, I've had this Tesla for like 16 months now. We still have the Rivian. We had that one. We bought that in summer and we still have it, uh, which is kind of, if you know our channel, it's kind of a big deal because typically like day two and I, we were going through our taxes for last year. And I think we went through about like six EVs, like bought and sold, bought and sold like all in the last year. So the fact that we're still keeping these particular ones around, the Model Y, the R1T, means that we just really love them. And I have to say, even though the roads in Rhode Island have been voted like the worst roads in the United States, uh, we are still loving driving on the roads in our vehicles. So that kind of leads us into like what happened over the summer. And we shared with you guys that we moved, we moved from DC to Rhode Island and that's where my family is. So holla for some free babysitting. That has been amazing. Uh, but over the summer leading into fall, we actually went through something kind of devastating as a family. It kind of really made us rethink our priorities. Um, really just made us rethink a lot of things that were happening, I guess, in life in general, you could say. Um, and I'm not necessarily ready to share like that event with you now. If you guys were interested in just hearing like more about our family life, um, we'd be glad to share that with you at some point. Uh, you can even like just drop a comment, let us know like if you're interested in hearing more about our family um, as opposed to like just EVs. Um, so after going through that event, we kind of realized maybe in December that like we just need to take some time off. As much as we love YouTube, as much as we love making videos for YouTube, we really had to just reprioritize our family kind of put our own health first, like our physical health, our mental health. Um, so that's been super beneficial for us. Of course, we've missed making videos, um, but at that time in our life, we just really needed to step back and like reprioritize, um, rethink a lot of things that were happening and just spend a lot of time together as a family. Um, so that has been super helpful. And before, like you guys start wondering, I'll just put your like minds at ease. J3 is obviously doing well. He is doing wonderfully. Uh, he is loving school. He's in preschool right now. Uh, and he wakes up every day like so excited to go. And honestly, I hope he hangs on to that mentality forever uh, because I don't know about you, but by the time like middle school, high school rolled around, I was not getting out of bed excited for school. And let me just continue. Let me continue to put your minds at ease before the tabloids start speculating that J2 and I split up. That is not the case either. Of course, we are still together and we are doing great. Um, honestly, people, like, I could never leave him. He is literally like the sexiest man in the world. Sorry, George Clooney, you're not it. And could he ever leave me? The answer would be no, because I would go carry Underwood on that Rivian. 
Uh, and he loves that truck too much to risk that. So he has to stay with me. He really doesn't have a choice. <laughs> uh, so we're doing well. We're doing great as a family. Again, J3 is fine. We just had to really take a step back, uh, rethink things, reprioritize things, kind of come together as a family just to process some events, um, which again, we could share later with you if you guys were interested. Um, but that's just kind of where we've been. Again, we didn't plan for December to be our last video. That's just kind of like how it happened. I think in Bruce Almighty, Jim Carrey says it's the way the cookie crumbles. So that's the way our cookie crumbled at the moment. So we're kind of like slowly dipping our toe back into the YouTube like arena here. We'll see what happens. And we are actually slowly getting ready to pull up to the library. Let me find a parking spot real quickly. Ooh, perfect parking right in front. It's like they knew I was coming. You want to tell YouTube the surprise? That's a great idea. Okay, let's see. Let me put the camera on you so they can hear, okay? All right, YouTube, you heard it from J3. We're ready to share our surprise with you here. All right, J3, what is our surprise? There's a baby and mama's belly and, and he's starting to grow up. That's right, thank you, J3. That's right, people, J3 is correct. There is a new addition coming to our family, and no, it's not another vehicle. It is, in fact, a baby. Take a look at this here, people. I know it looks like I ate a bowling ball. I promise that was not the case. There is an actual baby in there. Uh, so he will be born over the summer. That's right, it's a he. So please send us all of your name suggestions. We already have a J2, we already have a J3. Uh, should we stick with the J names? Should we branch out a little bit? Uh, we'll see. So drop some baby names below. Give us some ideas here because we are on the struggle bus. I was even thinking maybe Shannon Jr. We could call it SJ for short. SJ. Let me know how you feel about that. You like SJ? SJ, that sounds good. I mean, Shannon is a boy's name in like Australia. So we would just have to move down under maybe. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, send us what you think are good baby names. Uh, nothing too crazy, but nothing like super common either. I don't know yet. Okay, so that is our news. Uh, this is what we have been doing. This is why we've been gone. Thank you again for your concern. This is also like the exciting news that we wanted to share with you. Um, so again, also side note people, morning sickness has been real y'all. Like I'm not talking just in the morning morning sickness, but like afternoon morning sickness, evening morning sickness, it has been a real B. I'm just gonna be straight with you. Not been fun at all. But thankfully J2 is a great partner um, and he has been holding my hair every time I just spend time spooning the toilet. Uh, so that has been a big help, but it really is not fun people. If you have a baby mama in your life, just hit the pause button right now and just go buy her a piece of expensive jewelry because she deserves it. If she made a human, um, I think you should probably just worship the ground she walks on maybe. <laughs> so that is it y'all. That's what we wanted to share with you. I mean, the end of 2022 was not a great year for us. I'll just be honest. It was just not good. But 2023 is shaping up to be a really exciting year. Uh, so thank you again. We hope that you can just keep us in your thoughts and prayers. We'd appreciate that. Uh, J3 is having fun making the card too right now. So that's our cutie go inside the library. <laughs> thank you, J3. <laughs> Well, that's all we've got. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.